Okay, so in, in, in the previous uh, Amato Gyaku um, technique that I, I demonstrated, is I've talked a lot about this um, idea that prior to um, applying technique, whether it's punching, kicking, locks or throws, that um, we take the person's um, balance first or, or structure. What I, what I see a lot of in, in, in a, a lot of dojos is, um, or training in general, is I see a lot of people stepping and the person steps going from one position of balance to another position of balance. This per Shinji is not out of balance here. He's just stepped, so he's regained his balance, okay? His structure is still solid. So what I want to do here is I really want to step probably less, so I don't want to, I don't want him to force him to step. What I want him to do is, like a lot of human beings, is they'll try and absorb the movement with la by being lazy and bending their body. So if I take a smaller step, and bend my knees, see how he absorbs my movement by kind of leaning forward and bending a bit of the waist. This is breaking his structure. He's on the balls of his feet now, so he's at slightly out of balance. He might not feel massively out of balance, but it's, it's significant. So then once I'm here, this, this attacks his eyes, and I force my thumb between his first finger and his thumb. I keep this elbow up. If he punches towards my face here, boom. I try and position it, this elbow so he hits that rather than my face, obviously, which would be a bad thing. From here, I keep my, my hand and my forearm in alignment here and I drop my elbow. So this is like a lever here, a solid lever, because I don't let my wrist bend. Here, I push his palm towards his forearm and I'm looking for the line perpendicular to the line between his he heels. I move around here and I push his head down and I force him to roll. So one more time, let's go from this side. So one more time, he grabs, I control his hand here. I step here and I just take his balance a tiny bit so he leans forward and, and breaks the waist just a touch. His hands come across his eyes. I push my thumb in between his first finger and his thumb, this stays completely flat. I don't want to see any weird bent wrist stuff. This is no good. I want to keep this straight. I drop my elbow here. Then, as I say, I'm looking at this line between his feet, and I want to move perpendicular to that to throw. Okay? So, one more time, last time. I'm here. He grabs. I step here. Whoop. And I throw him. Let's go. <clears throat> going to come across his eyes and this hand is going to force back way in between his thumb and first finger and I keep the hand and the forearm tight. At the same time I do this, I'm going to drop my elbow keeping this structure and turn here. Then I can come back, hook back into Kongyaku and take him down. Going through here, keeping the structure of the wrist or the sorry hand and the forearm all in alignment so i'm here i'm stepping just a little bit and just taking him onto the balls of his feet here and i'm using